of the Village of Skokie Appearance Commission for Wednesday, June 12, 2019. Good. Uh, when you guys checked in to get your building permits, you were given the um, direction as to what we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, we're being recorded for uh, local access TV, uh, so you're mm -hmm. forewarned. Um, um, sorry, I jumped a little ahead of myself here. Uh, if anybody who's going to be uh, testifying here tonight, please stand up and be sworn in. Raise your right hand. You're not presenting a case? Yes. All right, stand up. You swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, good job. You passed that top. Um, before we go into the cases, does somebody want to make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting? I move to approve the minutes of May 8th, 2019. Anybody second? Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, when I call your case, come just stand at the table right in front of us. We'll be reviewing your drawings. I'll also be reading in comments we get from the Village's uh, Community Development Department. And we'll take those into consideration. So let's get rolling. Case 2019-0258, Joseph Lejeune at 4001 Davis Street, residential first and second floor addition. The staff comments are, staff has a few concerns with the overall design, including the use of stucco in lieu of brick or siding and new windows <coughs> not coordinating with the existing home. Staff suggestions include a brick material for the first floor, a guard rail in lieu of a solid parapet wall for the balcony, larger columns and beams or trim, details supporting the porch area, <coughs> using double hung windows on the addition or incorporating foam mullions or muntins in the design to accommodate egress requirements, and coordinating the window locations with the existing home features below. Pardon me. Uh, the, this home was originally built with yard setbacks as if it were a corner lot. All but 10 feet of the original street right of way has since been vacated. Therefore, the right of way is no longer defined as a street and the subject property is now considered a mid-block lot with non-conforming setbacks. Technical items to be addressed include request for relief from zoning. Excuse me, let me restate that. Technical items to be addressed include requesting relief from the village code for a rear yard variation from the zoning board of approvals, removing the bedroom from the basement plans as it is not allowed below grade, and coordinating the window openings on the plans and elevations, the north, south, and the west elevations. That's a mouthful. Yep. <laughs> so, were you briefed on these comments before you came here? Um, no, not, the, not to the extent of those. Okay. With uh, relation to zoning and the setbacks. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's see. Yeah, so, so what's with all the stucco? Uh, the owner wanted uh, <coughs> a newer image material. Um, the existing brick that on the face of the house um, is a little bit more difficult to to locate and to, to source. So instead of trying to, to get a different brick and try to have it now, it should not be uh, completely set. We wanted to showcase the, the new something clean. What happened is it was vacated from Crawford to Peter. Right. Do you, anybody want to make some comments? Yeah, do you have samples? Um, I've got some photo samples. Um, right. It would be a white or a very light gray. And what color is the brick? The brick is a light creamish color. The 
brick is close to this color. Um, so we're thinking this kind of texture for the stucco, but this would be a little bit darker than we're envisioning. Real stucco, because we don't allow this. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's cement stucco. Could could we see it too? Yes. Can we do it? Yeah. Can we do it? See, I only some fifty percent brick to. Yeah, it looks good, but appear that way. Oh, okay. Do you? I think he said this. Yeah, it's got to be. Said the plus one. Yeah. And this is this is more. I thought the texture. I'm not super. It's super. Was it this color that? That's that's so close to the existing here, brick. Um, it's it's not a flat finish or a flat color, but it's a it's a creamish colored brick that's close to that. Oh. <coughs> I don't understand. That's a question. So um, where's the vision? Yes, this. So if there's spin on this and they're going down. And they're going down. This is already too On the rear mm -hmm. elevation, mm -hmm. uh, this is new and why isn't mm -hmm. it? Seems like this win these windows are aligned. This yes. one isn't. Those are existing. existing. Those are existing. Oh, so this is existing. This is existing. <coughs> so the, the brick is all existing. Anything that's got brick in it, Mary Jane's existing. Mm -hmm. The um, this is a proposal. This is proposed. Yes. So you the have white area is the you have these transoms on this one elevation. The existing mm -hmm. So this Why is the that? garage is going to be new. Oh, bring in the second floor. Uh, that's a, a living room. That's room. existing. That's, that's, existing. Room. that's facing Crawford on that side. Okay. Yeah. Enter out in the back patio. That's that's right off that side. The garage is not facing Crawford. Garage is <clears> facing. <throat> So the garage is the front of the house, correct? The right. side, the side. Yeah. And what yeah, happens? But it's kind of turned facing. 90 degrees. Yeah. 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 The serving street is proper. Okay. And no, the house is perfectly So the original. So the garage is away from the street. So that's now kind of a shared driveway of the house across. Okay, that's this basketball court in the picture that I'm looking at. So would you, you would say that the east elevation is what is street facing? Would that be correct? The east faces west. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. And so that'd be that'd be set back quite a bit. You know, there's large growth trees along Crawford, so the the views to the house from Crawford. So this one is existing. And the court, yeah. This is a courtyard that's existing. What's existing oh, is right is here this, underneath that they're putting a second floor on here and they're and building this all this so new. Why can't the uh, it's a one car garage. They're going a two car garage and a family room and a second floor on top of this. This is going to stay with this. And this one is the front. That's, well, that's Crawford. And the front door is actually here on an old street that we vacated years ago. So why can't this be? If you want to, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's tough to we'll find the brick, right? That's, that's what you're supposed to I was thinking it would be nice yeah. on the front of the garage. So this is the addition? Yes, it is. You mean to so find a brick, a brick for the addition? To be yeah. in the, you know, this to kind of here. across with the garage. This, this is existing. This is the first. And so you're looking at the garage oh, on the second floor. Here. You cannot find the matching. This is the rear of the house. So this is a proposed family room no. and bedroom. No. And a second floor on top of this. And this is a long closet space. Okay. No. So you're expanding this foot. Are you expanding this footprint? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I, I don't know that that's going to happen. Well, it's kind of Yeah, we, we actually submitted for uh, this one. Yeah. So this couple, this, this, this whole, whole, the front yard setback is, it's actually setback, it's 40 feet. So the whole house is about 40 feet. So the whole house is pushed in that direction. So, I just, it, it's, it's, good it's going to look like a big stucco house is what it's, it's going to look like. And, uh, There's not enough interest in it. I'm looking at maybe trying I mean, to change we it. would normally, we, we need to have some masonry band that goes around this house if you want to use this much stucco. Okay. So, 
I don't know if you want to go back to your owner and talk to him about it, or if you're at liberty now to just make these changes. But uh, well, yeah, I think he'll want some input, but but we we discussed a, a few different things. But okay, I think, I think he'd want to sign off on the final. Um, Getting the teams the facing of the well, I, I mean, I think we'd want first of all, it's got to be 50 50, which you're not. Change yeah. the existing one. It's minimum 50%. Masonry, right. right. And, and the stucco doesn't count. But, you know, it, it would be, you know, if you want to, you know, go masonry to the top of the, like this band height all the way around or something, but, you know, you're going to have to talk to him about that. I mean, this, this, yeah, that, it's an existing uh, flue to the was the boiler, but now uh, uh, get removed. It's not high enough. Mm -hmm. Well, if they're still using it for the furnace, yeah, I really like that either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, so this is the garage protruding out now. No, so we're here. I, 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 I mean, this elevation is just not clean enough for me. Here's, can we take yes, absolutely, rip it apart. So right now it's a one card. Right. They're bringing it forward. Right, that's what I mean. So it's protruding forward. It is. And, and this sideway yeah. and forward. Yeah, so, so we, you, you can't. So, so it's this, right? I mean, this is the protrusions. Yes. Right. So what our thought right. was that this is like a parapet wall for a balcony out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. We thought those two boxes, but again, this is. So, so, so what is what's what's in that spot right there? Right. Oh, that's the wall. Yeah. He, you know what? So what is this line? Do you see over here? Do you see yes. the dotted line? That's okay. like a balcony right. in mm -hmm. the parapet wall. That's I okay. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. What what is the magic in? Uh, and I hate sitting here redesigning your stuff, but what is the magic in having this thing even here at all? Get out of it. Um, well, I mean, why why, why, aren't the, why doesn't it stop here and the sliding doors are over? Because of the way it works on the on the interior. Um, does this balcony sit out? Is it? Does it sit on top of the extended garage, or is it floating out over the t over the garage and driving? The, the balcony Both. is directly Both. above the garage. Above it, and it protrudes over so. it. Okay. I don't like this post. So is this, so is like this the, the balcony? balcony? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then here's a little sitting space that acts up. Do you need to work on the screen? Oh, I see. Okay. okay. The line of the garage is this is an overhang. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so that extends over right. to give some cover. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. sense. So that's what yeah. that's yeah. the part yeah. of the balcony yeah. that extends yeah. further yeah. out. And then this yeah. is the shape of the protrusion that comes out yeah. over the door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, why do you need to be Davis? This balcony, uh, if you're uh, on the. Right? No, the, this, the, the balcony stops here, but mm. this is an overhang over the door. You see that overhang over here? You see this piece? Mm -hmm. This piece right here. Oh, okay. But this piece is already starting at that point right there. And but the garage, the two car garage, comes out to here, right? Correct. Oh, okay. And the balcony. And the balcony. Yep, yep. All right. I'm there. It took me a minute, but I got there. That's <laughs> an awkward little. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of brick, but. It's 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 gonna look better, I think, if you just brick this whole thing from here down. <laughs> what if? And, I th I think and then they, if you're you're married to the stucco, which I think is gonna be. I, I still think a suggestion. Go you ahead, Nathan. You said hard to match the brick. You could strip some of the brick from the. Uh, um, what you're not gonna be using from yeah, the side here, yeah. just to at least do some. There's of that. there's only from here to what here, that side? and then on that side is common brick. So the only uh, face brick is so you could bring a common few feet. brick in the back, you know. 
Extra. Sure, we could do yeah. common brick in the back. Common's you know. common, yeah. And it, you know, that still looks good. We're, we're already bringing that into the chimney. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think I like we were well. against doing any kind of sanding. It, you know, do one thing if we're doing it more massing. Um, so, you know, the garage that comes forward, if that's, um, you know, brick material or we like have the, the chimney in the back, but. Well, I, I mean, do you need do you need to go talk to them about this? But because yeah, we'll need we'll need to kind of play around with a few options. But I think just running a simple band across yeah. is well, is no one strong in there, but neither is thoughtful. Or where would the brick be? It's not as thoughtful. No. A better spot for it because this I think looks kind of. Do you need to work on this the door and? Well, like the whole can yeah, it looks yeah. better it's with existing. bigger support. It's yeah. the existing mm -hmm. brick. Mm -hmm. so maybe, well, see, if you want more. I think Mike might have asked this already, but why does the balcony mm -hmm. extend beyond extend the garage? Uh, well, a couple of reasons. One, it gives a little bit of covered entry walking, okay. um, approaching the house. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, a covered roof oh, so that covered. Um, hugs the house. Mm -hmm. And then adjacent to the garage, it's Solid, but it seems like the, the idea to bring it's it over not fifty percent break. Get access. Well, yeah, we're adding more from there. So, well, if, don't you? you it doesn't here, have to. Sorry. be? Yes, we're, we're having them add more. The master bathroom is all the way to the. I'm saying that he's okay. got to break and it all the way down. In order to access, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. Doesn't yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. 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 We, I mean, we give a variance, but so you don't want to like the, go through the bathroom to get to the balcony. Like <laughs> exactly. That makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> that, that might be it. the red line. Like yeah. the red line now. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're like the red line now. <laughs> yeah, just put the tub on wheels. You can push okay. it around. Like <laughs> yeah, the columns need to be. Yeah, your columns are so, good. So. And and then this this Maybe new like, new porch roof you're adding. So this is, yeah. What is you know you get this wood one finish? I know. Yeah, that should contain. You can and have then something like. You got I'm the sure it's guttered, and you've got a. Here are the sure. columns. You have that? something Archana like that. Mm. In the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can we can thicken them up. They can thicken them up. Sorry. Hmm. I, I I would you know. I would, I would suggest you resubmit, to be honest with you. I don't know what your, what your time change. constraints, but I mean, the, mm. the, the, the call, I mean, look at this, this looks like a, the, the port you put on here looks like an addition to a house that was already built. I think that could have a little more interest, especially if you're going through all this stuff here, right? Mm -hmm. the, the brick, it's just a, a wall, there's just, you've got way too much blah, okay, with the stucco. Um, you don't have enough brick. You got to show that. Okay. And and you know you, you've got all these other new windows, but these, then you've got this just this one set with just this one pair set of four that have transoms on it. Um, it just seems like it's an awkward toss together scheme. So, and and of course, us throwing all this brick at it is going to change the look and the cost and stuff. So I don't mm -hmm. know if you want to talk to your your client first, mm -hmm. but it's not going to go through without making a, a, those types of changes. So, so I don't know if you want to go back and discuss it with them and come back with a new scheme. Yeah, yeah, that's what. We'll versus do. us sitting here and go, I will right, we'll approve yeah, it I, if it's I, A, right, B, C, D, E, F, and G. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I, I get what you guys are saying. You know, so I think. I, think I mean, we have to be sensitive to, to, to the neighbor who's going to be seeing this whole wall of stucco, so we want that. Yeah, the, the neighbor on the other side of that actually has a 100% stucco house. So okay. <laughs> I know they'll be okay with okay. the stucco. Okay. And, um, they, and they've actually got the biggest house in the entire area, it seems like. Well, yeah, I, I just don't have any pictures of them, so. Okay. Do you get enough feedback, you think, from us? I think so. Um, the, the 
notes that you have here are those? Are these? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was going to say, if they, they weren't. Well, I, I, I think Brian said that he's going to send it. Okay. Does yeah, that make sense to you? I mean, talking to them about what we're proposing because I don't know if some of that's deal breaker stuff or not. No, I don't think so. I, I think we can, you know, put and together then, a, a package that, that looks. And then get, try to give us some color photos of the of the, the brick and then a color sample of uh, the proposed stucco, too. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. All right, thanks. Yep. Thank you. Sure. Um, case number 2019-27A, McDonald's at 4830 Dempster Street, commercial signage. You guys here? Comments are, this is at this the Dempster and uh, yes. Niles Center? Correct. Can you represent who? So I'm um, Ken Price from Watermark Engineering. I'm here on behalf of McDonald's. Are you representing a client or are you the sign vendor? I'm the client. The client is really consultant to the client. Okay. Um, here's the comment. Staff does not support the proposed ground sign location and recommends the existing ground and changeable copy sign be relocated slightly north and west of the current location in lieu of relocating it to the east side of the Dempster Street driveway. The petitioner must obtain approval from the Appearance Commission in order to request relief from the sign code relocate the sign to petitioner's mm -hmm. preferred location that she is into that she's driving. Yes? So, yes, go ahead. So the prompting of this request is based on an IDOT project that is uh, going to be uh, obtaining some right-of-way at the intersection of Nile Center and Dempster so um, the, the current sign location will become right-of-way very soon uh, so this the sign does need to be relocated or at least removed from what will be very shortly public right-of-way um, an initial um, proposal was just to move the sign I don't know about 10 feet west and maybe five feet north of where the current location is um, but uh, the proposal for this evening is um, on the east side of the Dempster driveway where I believe there's currently a directional sign Correct. so uh, the, the location of the sign and as proposed uh, is within the uh, site distance triangle which is provided at driveways and intersections to ensure visibility for drivers, pedestrians, that sort of thing. Um, so that, that's the main reason why we would not support it at that driveway location. Um, and locating it in that kind of gray shaded area on the private property uh, at, near the intersection uh, would be supported by us because it would be outside of uh, the village code defined yeah. site distance triangle. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, right So there. that's, so the, the existing one is in the bottom right corner of the top drawing. Yes. And they want to slide it all the way down to the left of the driveway in, or to the left on the drawing, yes. but just to the right side of the driveway. Yeah, on the east side of the driveway. And that's an mm -hmm. issue. Why? Because it's visibility. Located. Visibility. Well, oh. yeah. It is a pole sign. Yeah. It's, it's how so many feet in the air? Here. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Right. Two. And it is like here, right? So any object uh, within that 15 by 15 triangle uh, where we, uh, one leg of it would be along the south property line and then the, um, the north-south leg would be along the edge of the driveway and then connect those two points to create that triangle. Any object that's taller than 30 inches is not allowed within that, that area. Uh, Carrie, you're going to have to point to it because okay. I'm not sure what triangle you're talking about. Yeah. Right. You're tall enough. Just. Yeah. So a 15 by 15 foot site distance triangle, anything that's taller, nothing's allowed taller than 30 inches, or I guess, you know, if there's a tree or something, that sort of thing, um, it could be um, encroached once you get 84 inches above grade just to uh, enable 
uh, visibility for both um, you know regular passenger vehicle drivers, uh, pedestrians, and the upper limit it should accommodate anyone who's driving a, a large truck. So that so this this sign would be within that 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 triangle. Okay, did you, did, do they have a copy of the visibility exhibit that we sent? You guys have that? Um, I do not think that. Because that's not defined. So this is a, not in the package. There's a yeah, mock-up. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then. Could it, there was something that you wanted to take. Could it be, could it be to the west of that location? The other side of the driveway? The other side of the driveway? Well, the width of the sign. Oh, you want to go to the. The little. To the to left or more. Yeah. The, so the, the island side. there isn't deep enough to support the width of the sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm trying. I want to be sympathetic to them because yeah. they're not the ones who are set. You know. Mm -hmm. This is yes. our beloved state that's decided to take yeah. some right away, right? Mm -hmm. For what reason are they doing that? Do you know? Making intersection improvements. Yeah. Okay. Niles is going to get reworked. I got you. So we've been working with various property owners sure, around okay. this area. Yeah. Yeah, we did it for Oberoi. So. And yeah, what Oberoi's. was your what was what was your recommendation? Our recommendation would be located in this okay. and, and, the intersection. And why would McDonald's object to that? Um, so um, they did a sign study with their vendor and they discovered that by the time you push the sign onto the private property back into that island that the visibility coming from the west and the east on Skokie like you won't be able to see that sign um, and then coming northbound uh, on Niles it's so it's kind of hidden by the building that is at the southwest corner because it gets it just kind of gets pushed back and into the left and, but the visibility from the north is already obscured by the building, and McDonald's realizes that that's not a win. But um, after the sign study that they performed, that, that, that this was the ideal location to get the visibility that they were looking for. And the sign is the is the sign pictured, correct? Correct. They're going to yes. relocate it, so they'll get a new foundation. So does it face east, west, or north, south? It's kind of on a diagonal. Okay. But and you're proposed to put it where, you know. Okay, but if you were to move, if you were to be able to move it to where you wanted it, would it, would it remain at an angle, or would you have it faced east west? It would be facing east west. So could, if I understand the the rule, could you move it sixteen feet to the east from the edge of that of that driveway? Or that triangle? I mean, like yeah, like keeping the pole and the bottom of the sign. Yeah, but that would know, be a bed. parking spot. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. No, I'm just I'm just trying to get yeah. Yeah. clarity on what the right. yeah what the what yeah, the parameters. Yeah. You know, to yeah. Get it clear. Gotcha. I mean, I, I see your picture, but I, but I also see the point of, you know, that that's a crazy, crazy driveway. Just, I know because I've been in it several times. <laughs> and then when you're pulling out, yeah, you you might look at it and go, well, yeah, it's just a post, but it's not just a post. It's a it's a you got changeable. Oh, I'm sorry. Copy. You got changeable copy mm -hmm. that might be flashing. And, and it's and, could and, be distracting. You know, and then everybody texting as they're driving on Dumpster Street, and all of a sudden, that never happens. So, <laughs> I, 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 I just can't disagree with what what Carrie's saying. I mean, it's just from a, from a safety mm -hmm. perspective. I, I appreciate what you're saying, is that the client would like to have it over there, and then a few years from now they'll ask for it <clears> also <throat> there. <laughs> um, but and and the proposal would also include the need to remove a tree. Most likely, I don't know if limbing up would actually um, get the visibility also as well. I mean, I, I, look, I quite honestly, I don't think I should vote on it because right. the aesthetics of the sign aren't changing, mm -hmm. and it's not my jur our jurisdiction. Right. Uh -uh. So if they wanted to change the sign, I would say we'd have to approve. That'd be something I'd look at. Yeah. But if okay. they're just going to relocate a sign, I think we should pass on the case to somebody else with a higher authority on that. Okay. 
Usually when there's reboot, well. Doesn't that make, does, does my, does my non-conformance make sense to you? <laughs> it does, but I'm just trying to figure out the process of um, if a higher authority would consider it, but I know there's aesthetics, but the Appearance Commission needs to approve signage before it goes. I will approve on. the aesthetics of the existing sign, mm -hmm. but I won't approve the location. I, I can't, okay. I don't have authority over the location. Does that oh. make sense to you? Yeah. So no, that's fine. we'll make a motion to approve the aesthetics of the existing sign <coughs> and, and, then and, and then send okay. it on. And it's okay. I hate to run you through the, you've been through these wheels before, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but <laughs> the location should yes. be determined by a, 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 an authority. But you're not approving it in that location, either. I'm, a, I'm not They're approving, approving. I'm not approving any location. I'm approving the aesthetics of the sign. I can't believe yeah. the new location you're proposing is really better. I, I because mean, the, the people you won't will be the see same, it on, right? on Nile Center either. Not at all. It's exact. Yeah, it's all. a sign. They're just relocating it from at from all. that corner to there. So no need to approve. I mean, well, it's already approved. Well, in order to understand for what Carrie wants, <laughs> she needs she, she needs an action of some sort by our committee to move this on to the next committee. Yes. So our, I'm proposing that our action is going to be that we're going to approve the aesthetics okay. of the existing sign. I agree. Okay. And then zoning and the, those they can figure out what yeah. they want to do for that. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I'll accept that and hope that <laughs> Well yeah, you know, I, I, yeah. Again, I'm trying to help you along but, yeah. but so we you know that even I could approve it sign, out in the middle of Dempster Street and it's still this next committee is gonna be the one saying <laughs> Yeah. You know so so, the other side of the coin if the client you and the client or you and <laughs> decide to go back into that gray area it's and you know no, no further it, action is taken. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, they will approve that location with that sign. Yeah, I believe it would just be a simple modified review because right. there is a. You would do, yeah. but you could do that in house and not have to come back to us. Correct. Yeah, it would not have to come back right. to you. It would okay. just go uh, straight to the village board. All right, Ross, gonna make a motion to approve the aesthetics of the existing sign. Let me find my language. I make a motion uh, that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number uh, where did it go? Uh, 2019-02. This is a mess. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start over. I make a motion that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number 2019-027A uh, as submitted. For signage. For uh, signage aesthetics. For signage aesthetics. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody second? second? All in favor? Aye. 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 So pass. Good luck. Aye. All right. Sure. Case 2019-028A, which I believe is going to have some relation to the next case thereafter. Uh, but this is about signage, and then there's another one about the sign. Is this just so I know before I do all my stuff? You can come up here. Is this the same building? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so do, I need, do we need to kind of look at these together? I know, well, I mean, is, I know the first case has to do with commercial signage, but the other one has to do commercial facade. And it, does this commercial signage reside on the facade that we're going to be looking at as well? I'd say primarily the signage is more like wayfinding directional signs on the site. There is some correlation with the elevation as well, though. So um, should I be looking at, should we be looking at case 19A before 28A? The facade um, before the signage, or is it truly independent? I guess some of the conversation may include wall signage on the next case, so maybe if you want to read both cases and we discuss them together and then and then vote on them separately. Vote on separately. Okay, so we're going to call two cases: case number 2019-028A, the Tui Hamlin development, which includes 3720 Tui, 7227 Hamlin, and 3721 Chase. Uh, we'll also call case 2018, this is a year prior, 2018-019A, uh, the Tui Hamlin Development Building C. I'm going to read the comments in. For the first case, uh, a ground and directional sign package will be presented at the meeting for review and approval. So evidently this wasn't submitted prior. Correct, for directional signs. Okay, and then the comments for case number 19A, 
for building C. Revisions to the previously approved, we've already seen this building, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, it Revisions was Revisions to the previously approved building C elevations are proposed. Staff has a few concerns with the overall design and recommends reconfiguring the transom windows to match or complement the storefront windows using spandrel glass and or decorative brick pattern to minimize blank brick areas and reincorporate the awnings into the design. All right, so where were we and where are we? This <laughs> building can't seem to get past. <laughs> Good evening. Hi, how are you? I mean, it's really, it's um, like the fourth time we've seen something on this building. We apologize. I can give you a bit of a background. That would be, that would be helpful. It might calm me down. Thanks. So I'm uh, Tim Hague with Keystone Ventures and part of the development partnership. And this is Graham Phil oh. from Shive Haverty Architects uh, working on the property. So I apologize that we've been here now this is our third time. Okay. Um, it's been a process that we started this um, proposed redevelopment of Tui and Hamlin, and we brought before you uh, this elevation study. Um, this is the that old was, one? That was previously approved okay. for the Chase sure. building. Okay. We, we wanted to renovate the Chase building. It's approximately, there's a footprint of approximately 38,500 square feet. And as we've gone through the process, um, instead of leasing it to multiple tenants like was anticipated, we end up leasing it to one tenant. To a single user. Uh, okay. Lurie's Children's Hospital. All right. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We're excited okay. to have yeah. the opportunity to bring them to the community. Absolutely. Um, however, with that news, um, some nuances came, and based upon their interior layout and their interior design and the function of the interior building, that drove some changes primarily to the south and to the north elevation. Okay. Uh, and it also has reduced the footprint slightly. We were able to pick up some of those changes as we got to Planning Commission and Village sure. Board. Um, so now the footprint of the building is going to be just under 32,000 square feet, 31,860 square feet. Uh, so the north facade will be a newly constructed wall. Um, so there's more latitude on that in terms of what we can do to articulate some more uh, interest. Um, and then keep with the window pattern that the tenant, Larry's Children's Hospital, has asked us to. Um, and the primary driving force here, Carrie, is, is that we're, we're, we're instead of putting windows that went from grade level to 12 feet high in a good portion of the elevation, mm -hmm. as depicted on this, we have clear story windows that are higher, so there's privacy for, mm -hmm. the, for the pediatric patients mm -hmm. that are inside the building and inside these exam rooms and treatment rooms. Yeah. Um, so I, um, what, what staff's concerns that they've shared with us is we've lost articulation underneath those windows and are there suggestions? Can we work through some different thoughts and ideas and what can we add to accomplish so, better? Sorry, because that's kind of blurry, but that top. We have some. Uh, yeah, let's give me some clarity so just so we can see what's. The last page here is elevation. That's fine. So th yeah, so this so this sheet this sheet represents how you're modifying this sheet, right? Would you say it lines up exactly? Okay. This is an existing building, right? This yeah. is an existing building. It's it's largely okay. in the cut. I apologize. It's the no, same no color. Are, are, they, are, they, are these the existing openings? No, or, they are not. Are they, or do these? Are, those are so, all new. So this will all have to be bricked in. Yeah. Are you planning on refacing the whole building anyway, or not? We are not. We're planning on uh, demolishing the areas with those openings, adding some structure, and then. Additionally, making it a challenge from a design standpoint was we ran into a lot of structural issues mm -hmm. uh, with this building. They're taller walls, are, they're sure. from 26 to 28 feet tall, and behind the the face brick, there's block, and then there's pilasters mm -hmm. interior. If I'm describing that right, Grant. Yeah, it's an that's a that's me wrong. okay. So. Mm -hmm. So is it is it, and I can't remember is this a is this a full yeah. 
brick wall right now that you're going to be cutting it, all these it openings? Is. There's okay. limited doors. I'm just. I guess my mask is like, do you have to match brick or something? But I guess not. You're you're, you're um, fully. No, no, you're fu you're fully cutting, and then you're going to salvage whatever you're Mike, cutting out. Mike. Okay, gotcha. Okay, oh, so, but the, so that the uh, the concrete, or the glass block is existing punched openings. Right. That's correct. Thanks. Okay, so you're work, you're working within that parameter. Yeah, and then okay. we're on the west elevation is going to be very active with a lot of windows, and that's adjacent to the waiting room. We we do Graham does have a mm -hmm. layout of the interior that we can share with you. Yeah. That kind of uh, that's right. um, but there there is a function behind this design. Of, what we're trying to accomplish with. Yeah, Carrie, I, I get it. Carrie, yeah. what are you looking for? So That's this is a north elevation. That elevation will be completely demolished, and then we step back into the building. So we're yeah. actually demolishing the north 6,000 square feet. So, so this will be this will be a new wall? So that's all new facade. Okay. okay. And, you know, at the time, it was, you know, it was, this was uh, a design that seemed to be well recepted, so we just duplicated it. Again, not knowing who the tenant or what the point Sure. Is. So, all right, so I, I get that. So, what are you proposing to put on these walls? Do you have that, well, do you have I, that drawing? We we I, don't. This is what we submitted, and then, you know, it's been a fluid process. But what we'd like to do is, I, I guess, have the latitude to talk about a couple different applications of ad interest. One idea we had was to have some application underneath the windows of some uh, decorative components that would be added to the facade that we would grow. Yeah, it'll, some, some it'll never grow. Some green through. <laughs> I want to grow. I've never, I've never seen a successful one of these. Well, what, state, what state was this taken in? Well, that, that, that example, interesting enough, when I was up there, I drove past the Whole Foods and Park Ridge. Okay. And, um, but, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. You're trying to come up with and some or, sort or, of. Yeah, I, there, I get it. I get it. Um, you know, okay, one of the suggestions was a, a decorative mm -hmm. metal. Well, mm -hmm. I guess. Match the blue so, I guess. I, let, me, let, me, let me just throw something at you. I mean, Lurie, there, you're obviously blue. not ready to. Um, well, this is an R2. Okay. Project. Yeah, they're, they're the lead. Oh, they're I would developer. use some blue in there. Is, uh, is the west elevation here in your, uh, on your plans? Is that. Scale, because I'm looking at the the glass block windows existing in the photograph, and it seems like the drawing has quite a bit more space above them than the photograph does. So you're raising it. Oh, that's why. Okay. That makes sense. What? They are going higher than. You could see in the back there. Oh, okay. He asked why. Yep. That's it now. Yeah. So are you gonna? I can't remember. Were you guys gonna paint this building? We are not. Well, that's gonna. So, how are you gonna match the color? Of the what are you gonna do with the parapet? Um, Could be we blue. were gonna match it with a with a common brick. It's a common brick. Um, that's what's depicted on the plans. Well, no, what's depicting on the plans is a beautiful looking, consistent brick elevation. <laughs> <laughs> what may turn out to be reality is. Hodgepodge. I mean, we're we're yeah. open. It's kind of if, like if, if there's well, concern there, we're open to. I guess, introducing a different material for that portion of the perfect too. I guess here, 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 here's what, are you guys yeah. nervous about putting the name Lurie on these drawings right now or, or what's the problem because no we weren't we just weren't at that point where they but are, are you, you know, signed yeah we're recently signed so all right so so to, I've been know, in, unfortunately I've had to spend some time in Lurie for various reasons they're very in design upbeat about this is a children's yeah. facility Should and I don't fine. this to me this seems like this is a a printing plant right so I, I guess I would challenge you guys to come to us to so go what, what, what can we do what can you show us what you guys can do to make this look like a welcome so a kid would actually want to go into this building what they have shared with us is these these areas um, is where the signage would happen on the south elevation and then on the north, there's mm -hmm. two, or I'm sorry, the west, there's two primary functions that are happening interior, and they consider them from a business operation somewhat segregated. There's the town and country pediatric mm -hmm. practice that'll see children much like any yeah, other. Yeah, per that's a big practice, pediatric. yeah. And then there's a portion that'll be outpatient uh, clinical facilities. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so they want those two different identifications on the west facade as depicted here. And that's the main entrance. Okay. Anyway. And that's the main entrance. Well, that's so the only they, entrance, really. So we apologize that that's These are more like fire exits, <laughs> right? I mean, um, the whole entrance to the building is here, side. right? That's correct. It's just they haven't given us that detail of how they're doing those signs, so we haven't added them to the elevation yet. But I, I understand what you're saying. And one I mean, I, I guess I, 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 I go, I, look at, I get the, I get the clear story for privacy and, 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 and all that stuff, and I could really get behind saying, yeah, this is great, but it doesn't tell me that it's a pediatric hospital care thing. It just looks very yeah. bland, you know, from from what I'm used to seeing. In, in yeah, I agree with him because like the new facility they have the new hospital in downtown maybe you should bring some architectural element which matches there to here so it's uh, like there is a bonding some, some kind of bonding mm -hmm. that shows that it's a children's hospital i mean i, I agree yeah, with they him have that very recognizable hand hey, the helping hand and yeah. and we've talked about that and that will certainly be incorporated into the signage one thing that we did talk about with staff was maybe introducing some some wall art down here mm -hmm. that yeah. I mean we're very we're, we're very much behind this. Look, I, I, I don't even mind the elevations. I'm just telling you, it looks blah. Needs <laughs> For, to have some more. You know, if my, if I was yeah. pulling up my uh, kid into this thing, more puppy. Um, mm -hmm. you, you need it to be spruced up. I don't know. Do you guys have any other? I hate to be the old one always talking about this stuff, but um, you know what I mean. The, the entrance needs to be more. Hey. It's fine. Come on in. You know what I mean. And this just looks like it's like a really nice. It's on. more you know, colorful. Maybe, maybe, more maybe it is. Boring. Maybe it is like the like the staff suggested. Maybe it is awnings or something to soften it up and make it look less industrial and more um, welcoming. I I, I don't want. I'm not colors. doing it to hold you up here. Color. You know what I mean. I just think that you guys could do a little better. So if if we could we could we. Uh, seek your approval with some um, caveat that there's effort made on these facades that you know we're introducing X percentage uh, under the windows and mm -hmm. then in addition to the blank areas where we either have some decorative component whether it's decorative masonry work mm -hmm. whether it's decorative yeah, I, I, whether I, it's, a, it's a combination yeah, of I think I'd be okay I, mean, I don't all have all any problem with that I mean I know Lurie's going to going to look at this too and go yeah, guys you got to help the us help us out here because we got to bring in town and country too they're going to want to make it seem and like a pretty well I'm, you know and, and welcoming the kids that they're not afraid to go into the to, yeah. to the place is there a way to have some softening landscaping and maybe Boxes. a walkway that would be interesting for kids you know that would curve or have something um i don't know, you know if we have the geometry for a for a curved sidewalk. Um, one thing we did briefly touch upon was the sidewalks on the per, uh, surrounding the building it will be seven foot wide sidewalks. So if we're doing the math here, there's a two foot hangover. So maybe, maybe since it's an existing facility, there's some increment of space we can we can grab to introduce landscaping and mm -hmm. maybe introduce a base trees. that would let us be mm -hmm. successful with some some you know what do they call it? Living wall. Well, what, yeah, living green wall, wall or what they have downtown are huge planters that are concrete and, you know, set into the walkway, yeah. maybe um, 12 feet in diameter and all planted real colorfully. Yeah, we can certainly do that in width. Mm -hmm. We're probably lim limited here yeah. to 18 to in depth. 20, 24 inches. Yeah, in as you can see um, to the west of the building, it's it's very tight. We it, or just literally like wedging the parking lot um, between the building and the property line. Mm -hmm. um, so we're we're at that basically the absolute minimum dimension for our parking standards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like the ideas, but um, I take it you guys have modeled or, or, or modeled at having the entrance on the yeah, south Kevin elevation, Rick. haven't you? Hmm? Yeah, initially I there. I mean, because yeah. that's that's that's. that's Initially, that's the, that's yeah. the elevation the site cries for it to be the main entrance. <laughs> the entrance is here, Mike. Yeah. I know, no, I, I but I, I wanted. I, I'm saying. Or if they try to. I'm saying yeah. that's where it cries to be, right where your hand is. But initially, we had two: one at the southwest corner uh -huh. and one in the midpoint on the west elevation. But you know, they went back and forth, and yeah. part of it is serving a couple masters, and Lori's is obviously a big boy. Sure. 
um, and this is where they ended up. From That's the fine. That's just going to be inconvenient for people because they're going to be parking. Well, it's so so, and that's that's a very critical component to yeah. That. That's not really our parking works. And yeah, that's not really our purview. I'm just bringing yeah, it up to. We've you. struggled yeah. with that, but we, you know, so it's we basically have two rows of parking surrounding three elevations. Right. From, with the All center the blue entrance. areas uh, proposed parking. Floors. Well, if you don't have room on the ground to do planters or, or a walkway. <laughs> at least have something vertical like a living wall like someone mentioned something to soften the building so so perhaps we can take the bundle of suggestions and then work with shive mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah uh as far as um is there anything on that um And the south elevation, you got all exam rooms along here? Yeah. That's, that's depicted here. The exception of some staff function rooms on the parties. There's got to be some color introduced into this. Yeah, it a little bit. Make it yeah, more I'm, I'm really surprised they don't want to paint the building. You know, there's a building on Oakland that they actually stained the brick, not painted, and it came out really nice. Mm -hmm. that's the thought. And are there any trees anywhere around it? There, yeah, we'll, we'll be introducing, so the site will be 100% redeveloped. <coughs> We're introducing all the utilities, uh, site utilities. There's significant under uh, stormwater detention happening underneath the parking lot in the middle of the site. And mm -hmm. so all the concrete curbs, all the landscaping, and all the asphalt will be brand new. And we're introducing some trees pursuant to the mm. approved. Yeah, this, is, this is the site plan trees. Oh. And there, there's a restaurant that's going to this corner here, and another retail space. And that's the building you're looking at now. Uh -huh. So this entire site is being developed. Uh huh. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It is what it is. I mean, but you know, color would really you, help. you just gotta you gotta figure out a way to make it happen. So that's so that's the one case. What's the other case? So the other case, um, the other deals, case would be the deals with a lot of wayfinding signage. Okay. Um, so as <clears throat> so we've got a couple of exhibits here. This is the monument Thank sign that was. So done. Uh, approved initially, uh, uh -huh. so there's no changes to that. We just want to point okay. that out, uh -huh. um, and that's in the same location. Sure, and that was already we yeah, passed. Yeah, we worked okay. with staff to resolve sure. the site triangles sure. uh -huh. and accomplish that. So, so Lurie's um, came by and was concerned that they wanted to do everything they could because they felt, in their words, the term they treat uses mission critical uh -huh. that they're that their patrons and patients have convenient parking. So what we've tried to do is isolate the stalls around the perimeter of their building, two rows to the north, two rows to the west, and two rows to the south, to their parking. And then okay. they've, they've introduced a, uh, a number of signs. Let's say still stay the hell out of our parking spots, basically. <laughs> encouraging to be respectful of right. patient parking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this must be uh, where we got tripped up was two specific positions. One, the size of the signs mm -hmm. were exceeding code. Um, and then two, secondly, there was some signs and positions that staff expressed concern about, uh, primarily over safety from site triangles. So we will go back on all the internal wayfinding signage mm -hmm. and make sure that we get that properly organized through respect. As the code site triangles. So you, um, what you're saying is for that case, you will make sure you're within? Yeah. Okay, you're not asking for any variance from On our the code. location. Now, okay. we are, in terms of the wayfinding signage, there's, there's five different wayfinding signage that are identified on these exhibits mm -hmm. as, do um, you have another packet of these? That are um, A through a, B, C, and D, which are basically directional signs. Uh -huh. These were drawn with input from Lurie's, and they ended up Graham dimensionally being. Uh, they were like three by eight. And what are we allowing? 
our code allows uh, for for directional signage. It's uh, four square feet and 30 inches tall, or if it's outside of sight distance, triangle 38 inches tall. So um, the A, B, C, and D, uh, their overall height is unless you changed it since we. We have you originally submitted. To come okay. Is the sign okay. is going to be this way? So black and white? Yes, yeah, so they're they eight feet tall. Is the sign is going to be black and white? Three by eight feet tall. Yes, so I mean, yes. Maybe like here, right here. choice so between those two. You guys know that. We don't even let that go at Old Orchard. So what's, yeah, we want this to function right away. Right, with the black, you can't read it as well, the top part. Right, so. That's much more real. Yeah. Is there a medium brown that everyone's... Yeah, but it's not that. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I think it's... <clears throat> so... Um, I mean, is this something you need past this month, or is it something you can come we, back for? We do. <laughs> oh. and, and so we, what we believe our role here is, as the site developer is to come and understand um, what the village feels is appropriate and acceptable. Uh, if there is any, um, that's in the ability, code book. Ability to grow that, <laughs> right? Um, to satisfy this particular tenant, and then we'll go back and work hard to get acceptance of the tenant. If we fail, we'll be back. If we don't, then we'll be moving forward. So dimensionally, Graham, so sorry, the, one more time, these things were three foot six by eight. That's so, what that's so what your your yeah. that's what you have now is three yeah. six by eight. And I, I think Actually, there's, I think the there's six, probably more sensitivity yeah. to yeah. wait wait I'm sorry wait, I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to yeah. cut you up. It's three foot six wide right now. By what height? The overall height is eight, but the sign is six. Right, but it's yeah. two feet up, and then it goes yeah. sign, so it's eight feet. And what's what's our parameter? The village code is four square feet and 30 inches tall. In the site distance triangle, if it's out, it's, you can have 38 inches for a directional sign. 38 high? Tall, so yeah. Small. Right. Mm -hmm. Technically, it says any the dimension, sign but usually the people. Si the sign? Like the overall sign, like with the pole or everything. post or From whatever. Everything, to the top? Yeah, to the top. Is 38, 38 inches. 38, yeah. So if, if we brought it down from eight feet to five feet, if we narrowed the width maybe to, to three feet, and then if we reduce that signed cabinet um, in it. half, mm -hmm. you know, is that something that... Are you going to read it? I guess from, from my perspective, uh, what was mm -hmm. originally shown on for the signage, um, as far as like these directional signs, I mean, eight feet is taller than most humans. And I feel like the site, even though it's big, it's not so big that once you arrive, you aren't going to be able to figure out where you go, especially if there's like a south wall sign that you would probably see as soon as you got off Tui, for instance. So I feel like some of the signs could be eliminated because you might see the wall sign in the distance and know where you're going. Um, that's just my, I guess, two cents on site arrival. Um, and then uh, I know there's kind of like the branding of the two different, the town town and country and mm -hmm. outpatient, um, but each one is like pointing in the same direction that I feel like there's some repetition there that could be. Sign D, they're all pointing in the same direction. Well, yeah. We're so thinking they could be combined into one to re help reduce it. You know. I mean, I feel like yeah, that. Everybody that, go yeah. left. That's all the sign you have to say. <laughs> I mean, I really feel like the blue hand is very recognizable, especially for those who would be attending or, mm -hmm. you know, arriving that you know, work off of that and for. really emphasize that logo and mm -hmm. could probably reduce a lot of the sign. I mean, th there's three buildings on this site. Mm -hmm. This is like, really, this is like signage around St. Francis Hospital. I mean, or, 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 <laughs> so I mean, I, I, I really don't think you need to address retailer A, yeah, okay. re restaurant B, mm -hmm. restaurant B. Re I mean, it, it, I, yeah, it, I, I think I think we're fine in removing those. I think but with, it, the, it, with the exception, if we could identify the restaurant B is the Bono restaurant, if we could just identify the drive through queue. Mm -hmm. um, as we enter it here, um, so so this stayed the same, and I think the only thing is once we enter this north south drive, either from Tui or from Chase, if we could have, if that sign could include the Bona queuing in an arrow down the drive, there, I think we'd be fine. Um, we we carry we're removing these these wayfinding signage from 
the eastern portion of the property okay. because of concern with the cross access, right? They need to make this big and this small. To the south, what, what, what I guess we would like to do is, is we we would remove these, not oh, red, and then keep this one. And what sign is that? Sign number this what? Is C. That's the big one with the this blue handprint. This is C, but we were, I think, we're in agreement that we'll consolidate the lurries to to be one directional aerial. But if that's C, because they go in the same. It's A. It's, it's, first of all, it's pointing to retail A to go to the wrong spot. I, I, again, I guess I just don't understand why you would need to even address retail A. We don't. We're taking those off. Okay. So place. retail A comes off. And doesn't and the restaurant, restaurant have their own sign? They have well, signage they, on their building. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They yeah. do. We're just trying to identify within this main entrance drive where the queuing for the drive. So, is. so yeah. So, all right, so there's okay. really so. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry Carrie. <laughs> so, so let's. So I think what we're saying, and Graham, you know, please chime in here, if, because uh, you know a lot of this was your communication with their architects. So we're we're reducing these four signs. Well, the only difference is really the directional arrows, right? So we're reducing this so that Lurie's becomes one panel with one arrow, and then the only one that we're adding Bona to is in this location identified as B, identifying the drive. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we, 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 we can grant you some latitude on size with that one, provided it's not in a, in a bad sight triangle, right? It's not enforceable. But really, now we're, do, now we're just down to a, really, it's all just lurries. I mean, I, I don't even know, it's really just one, it's really just. So we're down to three feet in height. I guess I'm saying no, no matter what, these are pointing in the same direction for both of these in every instance. So why isn't it just one thing that just says Lurie's slash town and country? And then we're definitely going to get within a tolerable. Because the, the west the elevation is the, really the only entrance, right? So we're not trying to direct people to more Right, and they're trying to wayfind them to that entrance. To one entrance, so. Or parking, right? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and I think you, you're going to have a signage on the building itself, so, I mean, yeah. it's like you're adding too many um, on the signage. Are you using this, too? That's our monument sign, too. Yeah, yeah that's the shared monument sign for all the tenants on development. I mean, just from my point of view, looking at all these signs, it, if I was just looking at this sheet with all these signs, I would think that there were multiple entrances for multiple different right. services. Yes, and, uh, and there's true. one entrance, even though it's servicing outpatient and town and country. So it, it, it mm. seems almost like, like if I'm imagining trying to bring my kid here, it seems like all this signage would be more confusing than right. clarifying. And, and so I wonder if there's a way to just say, Main entrance for Lurie and Town and Country well, this way. It could just say Lurie Children's Outpatient Services Town and Country. It could all just say the one you know. You could list all these these this lowercase this lower lower point stuff Town and Country. It could just say Lurie Outpatient and Town and Town and Country right below it. And, I mean that's really all you your sign needs to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. That size right there. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? So am I am I wrong that this doesn't have to be the sign? And, so, and, and in this case, you're going to have that arrow on it. It's just going to say Lurie Children's Outpatient Services Town and Country Pediatrics, right below it. So then I guess our only issue is so that would get us within the two feet there. And well, you'd be three foot six, and we could give you a foot and a half or two, or whatever. <coughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It, but it, it, does that make sense to you? Yeah, does that make sense to you guys? It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I think, I mean, also, and then, and then you can get that one little odd, I'm sorry, no, no, Ross, fine. get that one little oddball in there about Buena Beef is fine, but as long, as long as they're not all that big. So, so then we're, so then the cabinet ends up being two feet or two and a half feet by three and a half feet? Something that. Yeah, I mean, 
have, if, if you really think you need three and a half, it'd be nice to squeeze it down to three and then. There, you there's get some three. component to it of how they of tell their, us their fonts. And I, I understand. And yeah, but. Uh, we, I don't know if you want to almost, almost like a buildable area or massing, like say we're okay with signage, minimal communication, but maximizing. We'll go three, six yeah. by two. Three, six by two, yeah. and then the height. Like up to the 38 inches? Yes. If it's not in the side train. Well, in total, up to 38 inches, but we'll give you a three foot six wide. Does that make sense? Okay. But 38, not in the side train. Right. Mm -hmm. Do, does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, so we have so, some like outer dimensions. So, so we're going we're gonna to get you a 38 high, this. which is Four. probably here, right? Mm -hmm. From the floor? Yeah, probably roughly, yeah. How about here? And we're going to get you 42 wide. So you're going to be wider than you are higher. 42 is two. Yeah. Okay. And then... And was that the only thing in the signage package we were looking at? And then the one the one exception is... The Buena Beef. Yeah, the one where we're adding... The we'll, let you, we'll, let you, we'll let you go a little... Like add a second panel. We'll let you add a pan. We prefer you not get higher than 38, but you can... Well, whatever. We'll give 42 high or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just outside of Does the triangle, though. But we're not in the site triangle. Yeah, as long as you're not in the site triangle. Okay. Is it? Is, is, is that it all? Seem likely that it would that the where the drive-through is is confusing. I just, I mean, I, I, I just no, look at look just... at the way the thing is laid out, and it's like, I don't know. I, it's pretty clear where. Bona Beef is and where Larry Children's Hospital is. Yeah, I, get, I guess it's just. Yeah. A, a he wants to make sure people aren't exiting. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he doesn't want people cutting through the drive through lane. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Which makes right. sense. Yeah, no, I see that now. So are those the only signs that were in the sign package? Uh, staff had some comments about the other signs which we concur with, mm -hmm. and I don't okay. think any of that was cool. So. Okay. I, yeah, because um, just as a quick background, I know it's not your issue but uh, for parking uh, you can only reserve parking spaces if you have extra than what we need per our code so this is be respectful of parking because uh -huh. th there you might be one short it's but so once sad. yeah <laughs> it, it's we're like maxed out on parking like there aren't any extra so we're just trying to help people just be mindful sure. of these areas and but if someone so chooses to park there all right, so for we case, can't reserve it. So, so for case 28A, mm -hmm. is it really the wayfinding sign? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to make a motion on that case okay. so we can get it done. Okay. So in case 2019-028A, I make a, a motion that should take that appropriate and be granted um, with the following provisions on the wayfind, the four types of wayfinding signs. Um, that they, be, they can be up to three foot six inches wide three feet six inches wide and up to 38 inches in height and that they reduce the amount <coughs> of tenants on the wayfinding sign to one tenant combining Lurie Children's outpatient services with the town and country pediatrics and that those signs can be up to 38 inches high or three to 38 inches tall there is one exception that for the the wayfinding sign that prevents people to go into Buena Beef, uh, their drive-through, um, that that can have a little larger latitude that can be approved by staff. Also out of the side and, and, and in all mm -hmm. cases, they have to be out of the side triangle. Mm -hmm. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. All right, so that's passed. Congrats. Thank all right, you. so <laughs> on this, so let's, I, you know, like you guys got, have great professionals. You got R2, you got Shy Battery, who I know very well, and, and Cannon's involved, and, you're, and Lurie's involved. I, I'm going to trust you that you're not going to make this thing look like a barn. So I'm, I'm okay. I, think, I think I'm okay with this, <laughs> with the proviso that, you know, this, that you guys make this. Um, Pretty. That makes sense. 
Yeah, I think there's a couple ideas out there, and we're happy to work with staff to right. accomplish it. To their I mean, it has to be the Lurie standards, and, and that we all know Lurie standards Sorry. are. They, they like to do things like this and, and make things welcoming and have big fish aquariums and that type of stuff inside mm -hmm. to make the kids feel comfortable. So uh, we, we want it to be like that type of setting. Okay. So I make a motion that the certificate of appropriateness be granted in case 2018-019A, the Tui Hamlin Development Building C, which is resubmitting one that was approved from last year, uh, that the, uh, as submitted um, with the provision that they um, do some work to the, uh, minimally the, the south and the west elevations to make the, uh, um, with the staff Welcome approval to make the um, medical facility for, pedi for pediatrics appear to be such and um, be welcoming and, and a little more uh, less industrial looking. Anybody Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. So passed. Great. All right. Meetings adjourned. Anything else? Thanks for letting us read. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll see you next so, time. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. No, they're done. No, this is a big. This is. This you don't know who's. No, this, 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 <laughs> no, this is a very big deal for, for us and for you guys. So, yeah. and we, we trust that you, you guys will get it right. So, thanks for your consideration. Sure, our pleasure, guys. Uh, is that yours? That's yours. Yeah. And was this yours or ours? One that was right, it's ours. Okay, cool. Are these yours? All right. All right good luck. What's Thanks. the uh, what's the uh, timetable? Well, we're the the plan set is in for review, so we're hopeful to break ground in the next 30, 45 days. Wow, that's mm. great. Yeah, and get get it going. Good. Cool. Awesome. All right, congratulations. Sorry, it took so long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Got it. All right, thank cool. you guys. Okay. Take care. See.